most important thing is if there's a motor in here. No Dude, way. That's the bullet right there. We're... What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here at the new Goon Squad garage and today we're going to finally start working on our brand new build, the 2019 Lamborghini Urus. Now, as you guys seen in the previous video, we just did a brief walk around around the exterior and we showed you guys a little bit of the interior as well and already a bunch of craziness is going on from the damage to the side right here. We don't know what happened from the bullet holes to all the stuff missing on the interior. It's just a whole wild story. So what we're going to do today is become CIA agents or CSI Miami agents agents and try to investigate, dig a lot deeper and see exactly what's going on. And of course, I think what we're going to do is try to get this sucker inside and I think we might fire this sucker up. Yeah. Dude. I mean, in the listing, it did say run and, run and drive. drive, but as you guys know, there's a bunch of, there's a computer sitting on the floor over there. Yes. There's no power and who knows what's going on. Dude, with this hopefully thing. we're not missing our ECU because that's one of those things Ooh. where people get sticky fingers and they want that because it's valuable. But you know what? I think what we're going to do is put some juice to it, try to fire it up. We can't drive it because this thing is all-wheel drive I think so and we're missing a, a, a tire right there so we don't want to damage any more of that differential dude, dude. you never know that tire could have been shot out oh and whoever could have been still driving after that so dude. could be more damages dude. didn't even think about that dude it could already be destroyed I think there's a transfer case whatever's going on we're gonna figure it out and we can't just lift it up with our skid steer because this thing is heavy and uh, I it'll think this, barely pick it, it up. barely picks it up but it doesn't like want to tilt all the way back so what we're gonna do is probably just try to get it on like the dollies and try to roll it inside what Whatever we got to do for well, the first things first is to put some juice to this thing and see if it'll fire. I believe the battery is like in this footwell section right here. Dude, look at it. First off, look at this, man. What, what is this? It says chassis control, dude. Oh, no. <laughs> That's probably why this thing's so low. Maybe this runs the air ride suspension. That's a bolt. very good idea. Why right would there? you take this thing out, dude? That does not make sense at all. Yeah, dude. none of this makes sense. Like, why is the side stuff ripped out? You know what I mean? Why, why is there this, wires? Why is this ripped out? So we're going to have to do some wiring and stuff like that, which kind of sucks, yeah, dude. It does, but you know what? We're used to this stuff. That just kind of looks like an antenna. Doesn't look like nothing major. Let's go ahead and crack open this little cover right here. I think that's where the battery is. And let's see what what kind of battery will oh, work? Ooh. Dude, you got a pond in here, man. <laughs> Dang, there's mosquitoes growing. It's like a nice little farm. A definitely. mosquito farm. Mosquito farm, <laughs> but definitely needs a new battery. I mean, especially if it's been so... Look at this. No, dude, look how weird this battery looks. Do you think we can get one of these? Ooh, I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't think it's... Is, is it an AGM battery or something like that? Oh, uh, It has even like a little sensor right here. This may be, have to be a special battery. You see that? Let's just put a booster box to it because we, I remember when we first got it, we did have a a little bit of juice going to it yeah so i think did we did we we have? did it like the alarm went off for a little bit so i say we put some juice to it let's to first it. let's first vacuum all this water out or see if there's a plug in here that can just drain it right quick throw a booster box on here and uh, check get the, the oil key, check the oil and see if this thing will start up uh, yeah i guess so i'm just gonna leave the water and uh just put some juice to it because What's more, what if it doesn't start? What if we got a bad motor? Then we're not going to be worrying about yeah, no water. Yeah, that water is not an issue right now, but we got the key. Did we mention that we got the key? Yeah, we got yeah. the key and um, we got a booster box. Uh, uh, is it good to boost these things off? Because I heard they're not too not too good to boost a really? car off. Yeah, sometimes it's not good, but... We've been boosting Lambos and Ferraris for the longest since, time, since dude. Since 87, man. <laughs> but, yeah. Let's do it again, Let's dude. Let's try it. So this right here is the key to a Lamborghini Urus right here. I thought it was going to be the same as the Hurricane on which these are awfully light dude try dude, that out this kind of looks worse than the hurricane <laughs> key honestly the hurricane key looks cool but i guess this is the new key and stuff like that dude, it's all I, beat up i'm though. just happy to have it beat up or not because then we can program more keys and these keys i think are like twenty five hundred dollars yeah they are so super luckily pricey. we have it and it's pre-cut so we can use a key for to get in i guess yeah to get in the doors it's just like if your battery is dead and everything is locked up that's always a good option but let's see if the booster box will turn something on right dude let's go ahead so moment of truth it's on right oh there. it's super dead we're really? gonna have to put the emergency on let's see what it does put on that emer Woo! the battery and the Snap. key is probably dead Woo! that is loud ow that sounds pretty cool though. That's scary. That's that high quality alarm right there. Whoa. Let's cut that off. It's like an alien it invasion warning. It doesn't charge the battery a little bit. So I don't know if it's the key or it's what. It's definitely the key. We need to change the battery in it. I think we got some and then <clears throat> we'll give it another I'll probably shot. have to hop into that driver's seat and try to start it or something like Let's that. Let's do that. Let's try it. 
It's a regular battery. That's like what almost every oh, single. Whoa. Look at the key. Oh, did it the burn? Battery, the battery, yeah, it can like burn. So the key may be not getting power. Um, I say just it's, try the battery first because it looks like it got corroded or burnt. No, it's, it's got yeah. burnt. I go look. Yeah, go see if we got one and we'll pop in a brand new one. But it does look a little funky in there for <laughs> sure. You think somebody took it apart a bunch of times? Probably. Whoa. About the $2,500 worth of damage. Could have been in that water or something. Let's see if it works. Guess Where's the designated area at? Does it have a little mark? It should have a little mark. Oh, that's awesome. It turned off. It's going to start again here soon. You got to have your foot on the brake or it's not going to do anything. It's going to turn on the ignition. Oh, it's on. I think something no. changed. No, it's telling to hold the key to the back of the designated you should, area. There should be a little like key like cut into the wall there. So we had to pull up a video right quick. Uh, there's a there's a, apparently a secret for the key fob. <laughs> Buddy, turn that off. Alrighty, guys. So I think the key is just actually broken. Um, as you guys can tell, if I pop this battery out, there's some burnt like prongs where the battery sits. So it kind of probably shorted out. So we're just gonna take this key apart, dig inside of it, and see if we can possibly fix it. So guys, it actually looks like this key fob is like completely destroyed internally, like either the computer system or whatever. The schematics in this thing is just probably fried because it either got water damaged or it's been dropped a million times or something happened to it. It just, it's not functioning. You yeah, know I've I mean? never seen a key fob actually like melt like that on the inside. So who mm -hmm. knows what could happen, but it's probably just a completely destroyed fob. Yeah, dude. so what we're gonna do is actually order a brand new key. They're pretty expensive, 500 bucks, and the battery's even more expensive, like 2,500 bucks for like a legit OEM That's one. That's a used one. A, a used a 5, one? 5,000 for wow. a brand new car no battery. Dude. Yes, dude. Dang, dude, that's insane. But you know what? I think our battery is good, and I don't think that's the issue. So I guess uh, we're gonna just go ahead and do the plan B, which is gonna be to drag the Urus, I guess, with a skid steer as much as we possibly can, get it on this super smooth surface right here, and then we're gonna put the wheel dollies on and hopefully roll it inside to where we can clean it up. Look at both of them, dude. You don't oh know which my. one to pick, man. Dude, <laughs> I'm gonna pick the Eurus. Dude, I, honestly, which front end do you think is better, dude? I don't know. I mean, since this one's kind of new, it kind of looks pretty cool. You know what I mean? And yeah. it's a Lamborghini, so you know that's just one thing. But heck yeah, both dude. aggressive, dude. Super for sure. aggressive, and they're very similar in the weight as well. So it's gonna be interesting. I actually, I think this one's actually 300 pounds, if I'm not mistaken, lighter. Which I mean, this thing is all aluminum, which yep. is crazy. That thing is all steel, and they're still very close. Dude. Exactly. So dude. it's either this engine transmission is heavier or something like that yeah dude. but you know what it was pretty difficult to get this sucker inside the the skid steer barely picked it up yeah. but you know what put it on these suckers we pushed it and it is inside where we're going to tear it down pretty yeah, much tear it down but the first thing that we're going to do is possibly just go ahead and do a full cleanup on this thing definitely on the inside because this thing is completely filthy and there's glass in there and stuff like that so we're going to probably vacuum clean the whole inside make this thing nice and shiny before we do any type of tearing 100%, down dude. yeah and we want to make sure like if nothing else major is missing you know we got to order the key and we might have to order a few other modules like a srs module yeah, i don't know who i believe would need that yeah i believe the srs module is gone hopefully that's not where like the ecu or the main component computer sits is under there yeah. because it's gone dude it's gone and it kind of sucks yeah. dude. dude we got to open up this hood right here you know have you tried opening this i have it. i've been looking around to see if there's like a little pull string usually some cars will have like a little red string that you pull and pop it open like our emergency latch but i can't find anything i looked in 
inside the car can't find anything not even a button so there's something hidden that we were probably not seeing really properly but there's something we need to see if there's an engine in here i know somebody might have stole it along with all the other stuff you know easily dude <laughs> when the transporter was parked at a motel dude somebody with a 10 millimeter and a, and a flathead take this went thing, at dude. it dude and they easily. took the motor dude i'm telling you but what i really think happened is maybe at the copart auction site they allow people to like look at their vehicles right dude, yeah i think so if you have like a like a i think if you a vest a vest you, they give you like an orange vest and you have an account with them they'll let you in there you can go start cars you can do whatever in there so it could be possibly like a vandal vandalism or somebody stole something that they needed something simple as that but who knows what could have happened you dude, never know they dude. need to keep their higher end cars a little in bit a garage more in a separate section yeah. because another thing that people can do is they can go and like bid on a different vehicle and they take one stuff from one vehicle and put it in the vehicle that they want to bid on easily or you go, comes out the yard or you like go that. pick up like the, like sometimes you can go get your vehicle like in the yard you go in there and you can go through other vehicles dude, there's people just, out there that do that it's you just know? crazy scenarios that we're thinking of yeah. but anyways dude it is just amazing to see these two vehicles side by side right here but i guess it's time to actually dive into the inside dude. dive in there dive in there head first and vacuum that thing up Man, that's what I'm talking about right there. And it actually doesn't look like the door jam is that bad. It's yeah. probably the lock itself. Definitely. Right? I mean, the doors actually took the most damage, but on the inside, it does not look like it was super crazy. I thought this was going to be all pushed in, but it just has a few damages. I might have did a few of those right there, you oh, know, wow. trying to pull, pop this door off. But you know what? It was just a lock right here. I had to just stab at it and we popped it out. Hit it dude. with the jammy whammy and you popped it open. And this sucker looks good. The door yeah. panel right there. And as for the rest of the interior, man, dude, not nice. bad. I mean, this is not the best interior, but it's not the worst interior. I mean, we vacuumed this whole entire rear section. We even vacuumed the seats, but as you can tell, it kind of has like a dirty look still to it. There's mm -hmm. even some indentions in the seat over there. I mean, I don't know what that's from. Dude. Somebody sat down with a screwdriver in their pocket or something, something like dude. that. They're pretty deep. So hopefully a hairdryer can get that out. And as for like the dash of this car, we tried vacuuming it, but you know what? It still kind of looks brown a little bit. A little I don't know. hazy, a little dusty or something like that. I don't know what it is, but I think some like conditioner will get Get rid of yeah that. for sure but as the dash is not cut up that's a very important yes, thing dude. look at that the front half of the dash right there is alicantara which is awesome and the back half is leather so alicantara doesn't scratch as easy yeah, as leather dude you know? and that's just kind of like the huracan you know that front half is all alicantara which is just awesome but for the most part dude this is exciting stuff opening this door because this can lead to our hood being open this can lead to even starting the car that's dude. right because surge from vision exotics actually reached out to us all the way from the west coast and he actually has some information on how we could possibly start this thing in this dude. video dude dude that'd be exciting stuff if we can pull that off dude that's going to be amazing but in the meantime let's just go ahead clean up the rest of this interior wipe it down and see if we can possibly start this thing Should we open it now or later? Let's just open it right now. Might as well. Most important thing is if there's a motor in here. Is there a motor in here, guys? Okay, so we <laughs> vacuumed a little bit. Now it's time to get to the real serious stuff. Let's see if there's an ECU in here. I know there's gotta be a motor in here, but let's see it. Uh, uh. <laughs> Dang! 
Ooh. son. We got an ACU. Dude, man. V8 Turbo Compresso, dude. Oh, turbo Compresso? What? Dude, dude is this it's a compressor, dude. This thing is <laughs> Italian, man. I don't understand how to work on this thing. Dude, dude, where's the motor at, man? It's hidden under a cover, but dude, that looks good in here, dude. It's wow. all original. It's all put together. Uh, somebody tried putting some power to it. You can tell right there, which you did find out that this thing has a secondary battery, Yeah, it's right? got two batteries, actually. One somewhere in the back, and the front battery is like th four grand if you want an original one. But we found some information where you actually don't need to buy a new one. Really? You take the computer mechanism off of that battery, and you can still charge it up. Hmm. That's Apparently, pretty cool. So. We'll figure it out. We're still figuring a bunch of stuff out, but dude, good stuff right here. Now we just, I wonder, this thing probably don't even have an oil dipstick, does it? Um, That's a good, oh, right here. Well, no, this is where you pour it. I guess it's electronic like the Porsche, but dude, I'm very happy to see a complete engine bay because I've seen these things wrecked in the front and I know that would be it's, intricate. Dude. It's a mess, dude. We got so. coolant and stuff. Yeah, it looks like it. Wow, dude, this is beautiful. I can't wait to clean all this up. But anyways, let's get back to cleaning, I guess, because we're gonna clean this stuff up yeah. later as well. So wipe everything down on the inside and then we'll get to the starting part. Wait, does that cover pop off or are you breaking it? I think I'm breaking it. Oh. What, dude? Did Why'd you? I break it, dude? We need a new one anyways. Hopefully they sell those separate. Day two on the job here, guys, and we're just doing a little bit of a cleanup on the interior, trying to search for fingertips. <laughs> fingerprints i mean but anyways guys we actually cleaned up the interior over here and it looks so much better just an absolute transformation of course it's going to need a lot more deeper clean a little bit later but we got plenty of work on our hands from the exterior you know what i mean yes, but also sir. we got a battery this is the original urus battery right here super lightweight super expensive but i believe that one should work so we tried it out with that battery a brand new 200 dollars o'reilly's battery we tested the key at the o'reilly's to see if the transmitter was working and it's not working so we bought a brand new key we actually found one brand new from the dealer for 200 bucks we're gonna get it programmed and everything then i think this sucker will fire up but anyways nonetheless we're gonna go over some investigating tips that we have actually come across so first off of course the most important piece of evidence is going to be this bullet right here it's pretty lodged in there you know yeah, but it is about to come out dude. it's lodged clean up in there and we've been fighting at it trying to get it out and you said that it's about to pop out what dude. kind of bullet do you think it is a i don't know or something i dude? thought it was a, from a nine millimeter but the hole right here is pretty massive it could be a 45 i mean i know there's people out there that know exactly what that is i mean it could have came you know somebody might have used a glock dude it's a massive it's um, a massive bullet this could be else? this could dude, be a 388 don't damage it we have to send it to oh. the ffa or osha, OSHA. <laughs> i think that's the people oh oh dude where's it at it's right there 
No Dude, way. That's the bullet right there. We're gonna what? get a fingerprint sent out and analyzed. And Let me see the front of it. Turn to the front of it's it. It's not a hollow point. I'll tell you that right now. That is crazy. We pulled a bullet out of our Lamborghini, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought? And you know what? We found even crazier stuff as we detailed, like the rear end, the other side. We found more like entry holes and exit, exit holes. Exit, entry, like this trunk area. Go ahead and show them a couple of them on this trunk. So, so right here's an entry right there. And also there's an entry right exit. there. That's or an exit. Yeah, what? exit. You see how it's pulling out? So it has to come from the outside, which we're looking right here. And we're like, dude there's no way it came from the Where? outside but it actually oh. was repaired yes. guys look at that let me see if i can get some light on it yeah so you can see like some sanding marks right, right there here. and you can tell that this latch right here is actually original it's smooth but this was repaired in fact right there which yeah. somebody the shooting probably occurred and somebody fixed it and started driving kept driving around you know, know what, what my mean? idea is is this car got shot up at one point yep somebody took it got it fixed like the main stuff like this right here the quarter the panel, quarter panel that's why it has paint on it what? and that's why somebody used some cheap body shop that way nobody contacts the police officers you yeah, know what that's i mean very so true because this thing was probably never you know nobody called the cops yeah, so nobody reported the shooting on this car which yes. is pretty crazy but of course we found another uh entry and exit right here there's an exit at the bottom of this door and i don't think this is going to that door over there i think the bullet probably came from like this glass right here at that type of angle right yeah 100 you know? because it would have went through the seats we we checked the seats there's no holes in them so it could be like exactly from this angle to that door panel and like i said like they didn't fix that because that was too expensive to fix and they kind of took it to probably the cheapest body shop they can find because Somebody they low key dude they painted the tail light so this was a low key operation operation right somebody shot this thing up they probably threw, threw a new tire on there and then like later down the road they just got into an accident like a regular one or an dude. accident or an insurance scam or something like that who where knows? they like had somebody run into them who knows there's another bullet hole right here that kind of ricocheted and it went out right there and it doesn't really show like where it went so i think a total of one two three four five bullet holes on the car on the then car, on, the, on the body on the wheel itself there's probably another five so there's wow, 10 so that's like dude, a full clip right there that's dude. insane somebody unloaded on this thing but you know what we got some evidence right here and we're going to do something with it but guys that's going to be pretty much it for today's video who knows what's going on behind this quarter panel or behind some of the other body panels it's going to be pretty crazy in the next video where we start ripping some stuff apart but definitely drop all your comments and thoughts down below on what you guys think happened to this sucker but with all that being said thank you guys so much for our love and support we'll catch you guys next time peace <laughs>